This holiday season, perhaps you gave or received some high quality cotton sheets or clothing. You might be surprised to learn that not all cotton products are what they claim to be. In tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Ben Tracy shows us how the industry can now trace a single cotton fiber around the world. In California's Central Valley, it's harvest time for a prized crop. What kind of cotton is this? This is Pima cotton. So this is the good stuff. This is, this is as good as it gets. Derek great. Acevedo is chief operating officer at Bulls Farming Company. Once the cotton leaves the field, it's baled and trucked out to be ginned. It likely then heads overseas to countries like India or China to be made into shirts, towels, and bed sheets. In between the farm and the consumer, there's this messy middle. And sometimes that middle can be more than messy. It can oh, be yes. troubling. Oh, yes. There's still a lot of bad players. Many of the garments in stores are a blend, and some labeled 100% Pima contain no Pima at all. There's also concerns about cotton from China's Xinjiang region, made with forced labor, getting into the supply chain. It's now banned for import to the U.S. There's terrible conditions in a lot of the factories. I, mean, I think there's a lot more focus now uh, on identifying what's going on in your supply chain. So this low-tech industry has found a high-tech solution. Here in California, the cotton is now sprayed with a fine mist. It's almost like a barcode on cotton. Exactly. It can trace tiny strands of cotton from the field to the finished product. Some are tested at this lab in New York. The DNA technology is there to help keep the products honest. Products made in America should be American when they leave the U.S. and they should be American when they come back into the U.S. I certainly think it is a game changer. I don't think you can really say the word uh, sustainability and, and mean it unless you have traceability because it can get to the source of where the product's coming from. It helps consumers know what they're buying and where it was made. And for Derek Acevedo, DNA has helped clean up that messy middle. I think one of the most overlooked things in agriculture, and especially in cotton, is the technology that goes into it. For Ion America, Ben Tracy, Los Banos, California.